This is the Algebra 1 practice test for T and ready. Question number 15, at least on this version of the test. The graph of two functions is shown on the coordinate plane. Select all values of x, and that's important. In fact, I did this as a sample before and actually kind of messed that up, so don't be me. Um, select all values for x for which f of x is equal to g of x. Well, what does that even mean? Well, it means that we can assume that one of these is function that will name f of x, and the other is a function that will name g of x. I would imagine that the, the quadratic one, the parabola, is g of x, but who knows? It doesn't actually matter at all. So how do we identify a point where they are equal? Well, equality in this sense means that they share the same points. So where do they intersect? So we're just looking for places where the two uh, lines, or in this case it's a line, in this case it's a curve, uh, have the same point. So I'll zoom in just a little bit and write one down. Remember, we want these in x, y format, so the x value would be negative 1, and the y value that corresponds would be negative 4. And to get that, I'm just looking right here, by the way, in case that was for some reason confusing. I can't imagine that it was. You're probably pretty smart, but, or at least smart enough to get that. And the other one, the x value is 4 and the corresponding y value is 6. When I did this originally, that's where I kind of messed up and I had to go back and fix it, and it just seemed like a mess to fix on video, so I didn't want to waste your time. Anyway, I'll scroll this back down, wipe this up. So I'm going to select all values for x, for which f of x is equal to g of x. These are my two points where they match up. Here's an x value, here's an x value, so p and t in this case are the answers that I'm going to choose. So couple things to remember, if we're looking for where two functions are equal, we need to look where they intersect, and then also we need to pay close attention to whether they want the x value or the y value. For some reason they generally want the x value, but occasionally not, so just be prepared to give them what they want. Otherwise, for instance, if you'd picked 4 and 6, you would have gotten this part right, but 6 isn't even on here. But say it was a number that did exist, and you'd circled that, it would be wrong. Uh, they're relatively nice about the answer choices here, but uh, they're not always, so just be careful that you're answering the question that you're being asked.